Moving to my next point, the advantages of intelligent buildings, and especially the lower running costs, this can perhaps best be illustrated by the study by Chen and Lam in 2010 that compared intelligent buildings in European cities to conventional ones. As you can see from the slide, that uh, research showed that the intelligent buildings saved on average 28% of energy costs compared to traditional buildings. The savings were greatest with electricity during summer, as the automatic blinds and ventilation system reduced the need for air conditioning. In winter, heating is still needed, although the ad added insulation and double glazing mean that temperatures do not drop as much as in older buildings. Uh, savings were also seen in water consumption, with wastewater and rainfall being recycled. Now, it's important to remember that this was a European study, and these findings might not fit Hong Kong with its hot, humid summer. But I still think it's worth investigating. More details of this paper are in the reference list at the end of my presentation, if you would like to find out more. Okay, next, I'd like to look at the environment in intelligent buildings.